All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today I wanted to talk about Barb alone once again. Um, I harvested some of these yesterday. We cut them open, put them in the fridge just for a day. Uh, nothing crazy. We also have some LSU Huye here. Whoops. And I wanted to cover LSU Huye probably in a different video. Just talking about the flavor of some of these individual varieties. And the, you can see this Barb alone looks fantastic. I mean, it looks like purple on the inside. Um, However, what I'm amazed by is that, yeah, it is a really nice honey fig. It almost doesn't even look like a honey fig, but the texture, guys, is like very different. Extremely unique. It's like a fluffy, oh, excuse me. It's like a fluffy texture. And so I have been amazed by that. I, I don't know if you guys can really experience this without just getting this variety. I, I don't know if there is any other way but i'm going to try to explain it in that this has a very different texture than pretty much any other fruit i've tasted and that's quite special not only does it taste great it's a nice honey fig really sugar uh, sugar sweet caramel flavors but it also to be honest with you guys uh you know has that interesting texture that I don't think I really drove that point home the last time we we actually reviewed this fruit. Um, so it doesn't really feel super dense. Um, it feels light and airy. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people like denser textures. Some people like a more light and airy pastry. You know what I mean? Like if we're talking about pastries here, which is really what a fig is, it's Nature's pastry, let's be honest. Um, this is the lightest pastry. Let's put it like that. And it's also rather smooth. It's not like, um, you know, a very meaty fig. Figs can be very meaty and resemble meat in that way. And so that's not what this is. This is like a, a light, airy pastry that uh, we had this Shout out to the, uh, the fudge kitchen at the Jersey Shore. I don't know where else there are, but uh, the fudge kitchen sells these macaroons that are amazing. Um, they're like eating a, a cloud. <laughs> they're like uh, amazing how light they are. Um, and that's kind of what this is like. It's so light in that sense. Um, it also peels relatively well, but I like the skin on this. Let me try the skin individually. So the skin has its nice own individual flavor. I wouldn't say it's an um, amazing flavor. Like Zafiro has like a coconut skin to it. It's amazing. But I would definitely recommend eating the skin and the pulp is just so light. And it's very sweet. As I said, nice flavor profile. That's Barb alone. I want to do one more for you guys. Let's talk about um, LSU Huye. So again, we have some fruits here. These are a number of fruits I've harvested and uh, definitely didn't want to harvest these when I did, but it, it was going to rain quite a bit yesterday. So that's why I harvested the LSU Huye especially. It's definitely more prone to, uh, to splitting. And so they all have that red pulp to them, by the way. You can see there are the honey figs there in the bottom right. And you can see they all have a redder pulp. It's really nice. This fig has got, again, and we're talking about unique figs. This fig has a unique flavor profile for the most part. Uh, let me try a couple of these. So that one's a lot like the first, like Barbalone. Different texture, but if you add it in, some fruitiness, some berry in there, that's what you get. It's really quite good. Very sweet, very good figs. Not super intense berry flavor, but in my mind, very good. Here's actually a really large one. Let's try this. 
Mm -hmm. Even has like some acidity to it, which is not very common here in my figs in um, when they're not caprified. All right. Is there one other fig here that I wanted to talk to you guys about? What do we got? I want to talk to you guys about stallion. I know we talked about this fig a little bit. It's been in the fridge dehydrating. These look amazing. Oh, here's also Naruchiello de Elba. Let's talk about these because we haven't talked about Naruchiello de Elba in a while. But, oh, you know what? Here we have a long to do. And I had tried a number of these this year and one of them again very unique because it actually had a cotton candy flavor can you believe that now these are not as right but let me see if i can pick any of that up in this wow that's so good oh my god so this has like turned into a gel. Really, really good. Nice berry flavor. Not picking up that cotton candy flavor this time, but I promise you it'll be there at some point. When you get them perfectly ripe, maybe a drier year in a lot of sun, especially you guys out there, you know, in California, Maybe some caprification can definitely help. Man, it's so good. Um, now this Nerucciola de Elba here, we haven't talked about this fig in a while. But this has got a very bitter skin to it. And it only really has a bitter skin, by the way, when it's rather cool outside. When the temperatures start to drop, it seems like this fig really tends to get that bitter skin. And it's a nice little contrast. I know a couple other varieties have that bitter or even spicy skin to them, like LSU Purple, Ronde Bordeaux, um, a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head. But um, Nerucciola de Elba has a bitterness to it. And I think some people can be thrown off by that. Um, sometimes I will definitely say it's not very pleasant. But it is a nice contrast in that you have a really sweet pulp and then you have a bitter skin. For me, I think it's nice. I think it's definitely unique. There's not many other figs like that that are that bitter. Um, but it's not always bitter either. So that one's really weather dependent and, uh, it's interesting in that sense, at least to me. So we also have stallion here and we've been looking at a number of figs that are Celeste types. And this is the one I guess we'll end on. These have dried up real nice in the fridge. And these are just sugar bombs, figgy sugar bombs. They almost have like a little bit of a Concord grape flavor. And so does the Azores Dark. And I don't know which one of these is Azores Dark, but that to me is what really separates, partly what separates Azores Dark from the other hardy Chicago types is that it has uh, a Concord grape flavor. And every time I eat those Azores Darks, I'm like, ah, they're just so good. There's just something about them. Um, and so for me, I think it is about that Concord grape flavor. There's something about this stallion and, and some of the Celeste can also get that Concord grape flavor as well. Um, so yeah. That right there is a little bit on some of the unique varieties I'm growing, guys. I thank you for watching this one. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care. Hit that subscribe button.
check out our blog, figboss.com. Catch you guys for the next one.